Hello, and welcome back to Minecraft, the Christmas series. Uh, we are three weeks in, and Christmas is getting close. There's only going to be one episode after this one before Christmas, and then probably one after that um, between Christmas and New Year's, just to ring in 2024. My name is Peter. I'm your host for this video today and for this series, and we are on our way to an iron ore vein, uh, and we have our... 40 levels of experience ready to go so we can enchant some armor after we pick up all this whoop, after we pick up all this uh, iron and hopefully that will work out great for us I would like some decent gear okay so here we go uh, you can see that there's me I am wearing my Christmas outfit and in fact uh, I'm gonna put on my armor and really only my boots are amazing uh, everything else is unenchanted but it was a good starter set okay so here we can see the tough and here we can see the iron ore so i did bring my silk touch pick with me but i also brought my fortune pick and i think i might just use both fortune on the iron ore and silk touch on everything else and uh we will see what we get Ooh, this must be an iron block here um we probably want to use silk touch for this because I'm guessing that will turn into nine ore. Block of raw iron. I'm not that far in, and I've actually been using fortune on the uh, deep slate. Because then we get the cobbled deep slate, which can be turned into basically anything. Uh, as compared to... Raw deep slate, which can't be turned into anything. <laughs> So maybe just using fortune the whole way through is going to be the way to go. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to do some of this mining, and then I'm going to get back with you and report to you how successful it was. I don't know if I'll do the whole thing or not. Sometimes these things can be pretty ridiculously big, and I don't think I need all that much iron. I'm not going to be building hoppers and uh, extra anvils and stuff. I mean, maybe we'll use up an anvil? I don't know. Uh... But yeah, I do, though, while I have your attention, want you to take notice of the fact that the Christmas tree is up. Am I... Did I remember to go to full screen there? If I didn't, then check out the beginning of the video. Note what the timestamp is now. Go back to the beginning of the video, and you can see the Christmas tree uh, that some very wonderful basement dwellers mailed to Ted and I uh, years ago. And we have gotten new ornaments... Uh, from you guys in the mail as well. There's only three on the tree right now. I think there's a red sled featuring Elliot's name, uh, a green basement couch, and then a different green basement couch made out of pipe cleaners. Uh, and it's all very wonderful and uh, getting me into the Christmas spirit, which I appreciate. And I hope you guys appreciate the Christmas spirit too. Uh, there's something to be said, I think, about the magic and wonder of the time of year and all of that. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to wax poetic and philosophical too much at the moment. I may do that later in the series. Uh, maybe even later in this episode. But I'm just going to get back to mining iron ore and uh, so I can tell you how much we got when we're all done. Alrighty, we ended up with two and a half stacks of raw iron and two blocks of raw iron. <clears throat> Which is wonderful. And uh, we're going to get those smelted up and then make some new armor. Well, I think I have to turn a corner here. There we go. And then uh, we're going to try to enchant that armor and see if we can get some good stuff. I'm hoping for unbreaking and regular protection. Uh, although I would accept fire protection. On some um, pants. And, uh, you know, I was actually going to do that before I mined this iron. Because I had 20 raw iron in my inventory. Which is just enough to make pants and uh, the chest plate and the helmet, uh, but I forgot. So maybe we'll start with those original 20 and just see what we get. Um, but now we have the extra armor to go ahead and make extra pieces of armor, or the extra iron, so we can combine uh, enchanted stuff. If we get one good enchantment, but not anything else, uh, we don't have to get rid of it to try again. We can try with a new, that's what extra materials does for you, right? Is it allows you to sort of waste enchantments. If I get a, a chest plate with protection 4 but not unbreaking, I don't have to disenchant it to try to get protection and unbreaking. I can just make a new one 
a new chest plate and try to enchant that and get unbreaking. And then when I get it, I can combine them on the anvil. Uh, that's what extra material and extra experience does for you. So let's take uh, one of our stacks of raw iron. Actually, you know what a problem is at this point? Is coal. So we're going to have to start using the fortune pick on coal, I think, as well. Uh, let's visit our enchanting area here and grab some lapis. And do we have... We don't have a crafting bench or um, any wood down there, which feels kind of dumb. Is there a bunch of extra crafting benches in our wood chest? I would not be surprised, yeah. So let's take one of those. And uh, we'll put it down here where it will be useful. Uh, I guess we put it here. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, okay, so what are we making? We're making pants and a helmet and a chest plate. Well, we can make the pants and the helmet at the same time. Like this. Pants, helmet. And then the last eight can be our chest plate. And I'm excited to see what we're going to get here. Well, we can always enchant a book. We've got some extra levels to play with. Uh, if we don't like what we're getting on the other stuff. We do have a Sharpness 4 Unbreaking 3 sword, which has been handy for grinding for experience. And then we have a really good diamond sword that I'm just sort of waiting to use until later. Okay, let's see what we can get here. Uh, the pants. Fire protection. I'll I'll take that if we don't get Prot 4 or Unbreaking on anything else. Aqua Affinity on the helmet is tempting. It's tempting, but I don't think we're going to do... Okay, fire protection on... Yeah, I'd rather have regular protection on that. So let's put fire protection on the pants. Oh, I need this. I don't think we're going to do a lot of underwater stuff. Okay, fire protection's all we got, but that's okay. Let's check the helmet. Protection 4. That's good. Um, or blast protection. We'll do prot 4 on the helmet. And that's all we got. No one breaking here, but that's okay. What's the book say? Quick charge. Could really go for some unbreaking on this armor here. Blast protection again. We don't care for that, so let's make another helmet and another pair of pants and see if we can't get unbreaking on those. Helmet and pants is going to take five, and seven is 12. So that's enough. Uh, and I do think I'm going to do it this way because it's easier. Pants, helmet. You can actually do the boots as well, or if you skip the pants, you can do... Oh, you know what? We don't need the extra helmet. Actually, we do, because we don't have unbreaking. That's what I said before. Getting confused in the basement. Let's try uh, helmet again. Unbreaking three. Okay, so that's a very good sign. Now, if we can get it on the pants, though. We can't. Okay, so let's do the helmet. And then we will combine these, but not, not until we get below level 3. Or l below level 30. We're at 31 right now. So if we see a good enchantment, we'll take it. If we don't, we'll do a level 1. Okay, prot 3 on the pants. We already have fire protection 3, though. Let's try the chest plate. Oh, which is where? Here. Okay, protection 3. That's tempting. It's no prot 4, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, I say we take it. I would love to get Unbreaking with this. We did. Excellent. Uh, okay. So then we're going to combine our um, Protection 4 and Unbreaking 3 helmets. That's at a cost of 6. If we do it the other way around, it's at a cost of 4. Okay, so now when we put these on, we'll have Unbreaking on our helmet and chest plate and Prot 4 on both. Or Prot 4 and Prot 3. And then Fire Protection 4 on the pants, but no unbreaking, which is kind of a shame. Oh, I didn't even try the other pants. Did I? Let's see what this says. Fire Protection 4. That's what we already have. There's no Fire Protection 5, is there? Multi-shot. Uh, we are going to put these on, though. Uh, 
um, and take off our old stuff. These are all good, although we would like unbreaking on the pants. Oh man, we're looking so much glow. So glowy. Okay, let's put our original armor in here as kind of a testament. I think we broke the um, original boots. Did we? I don't know. Those might be around somewhere. Uh, we do want to get rid of some of these blocks, though. If we even can. Where are they going to go? Starting to run out of room. Well, and that's an, a block of raw iron, so we want to put that in here. Along with this iron and this iron. Uh, the book will go back by the enchantment stuff. A lot of this can stay with us. And we're just out of space in this one. So we're going to have to dump some extra stuff wherever we feel it makes sense. This is kind of really nethery stuff. Oh, there's our iron boots. Okay. And some mistakes, it looks like. Okay, tough. Cobblestone will keep in the inventory. Tough, tough. Uh, okay, and book down here. So what did I say we were going to do? Oh, I didn't say, but what I think we're going to do is go get some more experience. Because we'd really like unbreaking three on those pants. Especially before we take some pretty decent gear with us to go mining for diamonds. Um, so let's spend some time down at the old experience hall. And I will get back with you when I'm all done with that. All right, we're up to 32 levels now, and the way I see it, that gives us three chances at getting unbreaking on the iron pants, unbreaking three, because if I see it, I'll take it. If I don't, I'll level one enchant something and then unenchant it. Probably the book, right? Because that's easy to do. Okay, so let's take these pants and toss them in here. What do we got? Fire protection. No, thank you. Will this, will this roll? It may not. Maybe we should, um, whoops. Maybe we should do a level one enchant. It is protection one. Okay, so now we undo that and get a little bit of experience back. Let's see, what are we at? We're at barely over 31. Let's see what this does for us. Did not even move the needle. Okay, let's try again. Fire protection three. It's not what we want, so we'll do a level one. And then undo it. And let's hope we get unbreaking. You know what? I didn't even check the book. I should be checking the book first. If this is unbreaking three, we're going to go for it. Instead, it says power four. Fire protection four again. Um, I mean, I guess it might come with unbreaking three, the way this one didn't. So let's try it. Nope. Uh, can we combine two fire protection fours to get protection five? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to undo one of these. Um, put the fire protection back on. And then just, even though we don't have the levels for it, we're going to stick this in here to see... If we could get unbreaking. No, it's regular prot four. How about unbreaking on this? No. Boy, I'd love a I'd love a villager that sells unbreaking three. That would not be a bad shake. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our silk touch efficiency pickaxe down to the deep slate. This is silk touch two, actually. This is nothing. I didn't even see if those enchants would do anything. And we're going to see uh, if we can't find some diamonds. Um, oh, also, we're going to bring some wood with us because I dug out a little room down at zero, zero. Uh, and I would like to see how it looks if we um, spruce it up a bit. I'm thinking I'm going to go regular oak or dark oak. You know what? Let's take... Oh, I was going to say, let's take a stack of each, but we don't even have enough to take a full stack of oak. So we'll take a full stack of dark and a half stack of regular. 
And um, before we dive down, is it nighttime? It's not. I bet I'm tired. But too bad. All right, so I'll meet you down at the deep slate. Ooh, here's some diamonds here. Uh, I forgot about these. I found these while I was um, mining, obviously. There's six of them. And I wanted to get them with you guys on camera. I think there's eight back at the base, too. So this gives us 14 diamond ore uh, in total. Okay, and here's zero, zero at y equals negative 59. Uh, I dug this out just a little bit. And the idea was that I could put some wood in the corners to see how it looks. And we're going to try that and we're going to see how it looks. Um, so what if we do like this? Okay. And you see how I've done this here. Okay, that looks... Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's try the dark oak on the other side. I don't know how much we're going to be down here. Oak IMO is more precious because it takes longer to farm. And it looks good. Which is not true in a lot of... Uh, Texture packs. Okay, that looks good too. Let's see if we stand right here. Okay, there's our dark oak. There's our regular oak. That regular oak looks good. I don't like kind of how blue this deep slate is. So it may not matter. That's really contrasty. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use dark oak. What I was thinking too is we can actually make this room bigger. Um... And you know what? Maybe we'll do it. If we find a goal amount of diamond ore, we'll celebrate by making this room bigger. So what I'm thinking we'll do uh, is make it tall enough that we could put wood here. Well, tall enough and wide enough. And then that these wouldn't collide with the ones around here. So it's going to have to grow a bit. Uh, okay, so let's start with this way. And I'm not sure how fast the Efficiency 5 is going to go through the Deep Slate. It is, well, it's Efficiency 4. This is also Efficiency 4. Is Diamond Efficiency 4 faster? It actually feels similar, but it may be faster. So I'm going to use it while I'm down here in the Deep Slate, and we can use the other one when we're up higher, uh, maybe where the coal is. I'm going to have to do some coal mining at some point, too. I actually have more iron to smelt than I have coal to smelt it with. Which is kind of funny. And uh, we will gather up the blue lapis lazuli on our way out too. I'm not so worried about the redstone. I really only use redstone for gaining experience by mining it. Kind of similar to quartz in the nether. Um, but it actually could be a good decorative block for a Christmassy themed world. So maybe we'll grab that too. But uh, really, diamonds is the name of the game here. So let me do some mining. And if I find diamonds, uh, I'll bring you back. Well, there's some diamonds. That didn't take long. One right there. Uh, should we get it on the way back? Or should we see how much there is? It might just be the one, even though there's no air exposure. Oh, nope, there's more. Will there be more above this, though? I don't think I've ever seen a vein where it's just two vertically. It's kind of unusual. But I do believe that that is what we have here. Yeah, just two, two in a row. Maybe there's one hiding behind here. Nope. Okay. One, two. Which brings the total up to eight. Uh, not, not a bad start. Let's keep going and see how we do. 
Ooh, I see some more diamonds beneath us and the side of us. Let's set a torch here, and it's getting a little dark because I'm not placing them when I'm not on camera. But yeah, one here and one here. I also thought I heard some lava. So we're going to have to be careful here. I am grateful. Wow, I'm good at that. Here we go. Grateful for my fire protection pants. Just in case lava comes dumping down on us from above. Looks like we may have just two here. Um, I'm getting less worried about lava as we go. So let's grab it. One. Two. Yeah, that seems to be it. All right. Uh, not bad. So two more. I think we're up to ten, right? Right. Ten iron ore. Let's keep going. See what more we find. Oh my gosh, there's more right there. I didn't even cut, did I? Let's dig just a little past and set another torch. And look at this, we got two right here. And they're next to each other. Which sometimes is a good sign. Well, it's not looking like we're gonna get eight, but maybe we could get four. There's three. There's four. Okay, we will go ahead and dig until we can see all the blocks. Oh, there's five. This is a, would have been a great starting vein. Because you're holding out hope, and then boom, there it is. No lava beneath it? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, very good. We're up to 15. Uh, let's keep pushing. Um, let's also... Put a little light down here. I actually have the chance of running out of torches. Two have only got... Well, no, I've got a bunch of sticks and coal. We really need coal. I'm glad we have our one fortune iron pick. We'll have to just go looking for some coal ore and see what we can do. All right, uh, I'm going to look for more diamonds. See you soon. Oh, more diamonds. I just mined one. By the way, it's cold outside, it's Christmassy. I actually meant to put this hat on at the beginning of the recording and I forgot. Can you believe it? Whew, there we go. All right, so we got one and there's two more, so we're getting at least three with this vein. But as usual, we're going to dig carefully around first, just in case. I do hear some zombies. Okay, let's grab these. All right, we're up to 18. Feeling great about that. Where are those? Are they above us? I see some lapis. Well, I'm going to keep going straight for now. Anytime I hear cave noises and I go digging around for them, I end up digging up a zillion blocks and often not finding it. Okay, the inventory's full. I'm not picking up deep slate anymore. And it's been full for a little while. Uh, we'll push a little further. And we'll see what we can find. All right, and once again, the inventory is full. So what we're going to do is we're going to run back and we're going to place some torches as we go so that things don't get too dark. Are we? Maybe we're not. Maybe we're going to pick them up. Because um, we could use them and we are so short on coal. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take them. I'm just going to abandon this uh, mine for now. Uh, it'll get dark. Stuff will spawn in it. 
but we'll block it up. And uh, hopefully it won't be a big deal. So let's head back and uh, we'll see. Let's see, what do we have for ores? We've got 18 and I think we've got 8 at home. So that's 26 in total, which is pretty good. I'd love a half stack, but honestly what I was hoping for was at least 24. Um, I like the number 24 as far as a power of 2. It's uh, not a power of 2. As far, so as far as non-power of 2 numbers go, I like 24. You know, it's 8 above a power of 2, 16, and 8 below the next power of 2, which is 32. Um, it also happens to be the date of my birthday, uh, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, we're going to gather this lapis, weren't we? Where did I... Where was that? It was above us. This is not above us. This is beneath us. Well, something big could spawn in there. It's getting dark and spooky. So we're looking for light from above. And maybe we've already passed it. I see a little light, but it's just like redstone. But there was some light above that had a lapis, and if we haven't passed it yet, I'd like to grab it. Uh, in any event, here's lapis we want to grab anyway. Now what can we drop to accommodate it? We did end up with one deep slate iron ore, that's interesting. Uh, we don't need tough. Flint, gravel, deep slate. Honestly, that's what I have the most of. Oh, you know what? How about a deep slate iron or redstone ore? We don't need that. Place that right there. That'll prevent most things that spawn from getting to us. And this stuff will be useful for enchanting. Okay, got a little bit there. Uh, let's grab the torch. I'll stash this up higher and get some regular deep slate down here. And we could sort of block these off as we go. Uh, so let me gather up some lapis and get back to base, and uh, I'll join you guys there, and we'll do a post mortem on how. Well, we did. Actually, I'm here in this room again. Um, we could make this bigger, but I can't pick anything up right now is the problem. So let's just go ahead and put that there. We can try this way and this way for diamonds in the future if we need more. Um, and we can make that room bigger when we come down here for more diamonds, if indeed we do. So I'm happy to leave the conquest there. So I'll meet you back up at the base. We'll see how many diamonds we end up with. And then maybe we'll craft some diamond stuff. It's going to take some more experience. Um, and gosh, a diamond axe would be nice for tree farming. And a diamond shovel would be nice for terraforming, which we're going to do at some point. Uh, it'll be, be interesting to see how it all goes. Anyway, I ramble on. I'll see you up at the base. All right, we're here up to 26 diamond ore. We're going to grab our gold ore. We could leave the iron ore here, I think, since we're so good on iron right now. And um, we need our 10 that we set here off camera. And we'll come down here and we'll grab the fortune pickaxe and see what we got. There's the old fortune pickaxe. That's the one that I want. Okay. All right. So this 14 lapis is going to turn into a lot. Is it nighttime? It is. Let's sleep. I'm sure there's phantoms out there. Not to mention burning zombies. This one's got a helmet on though, so he's okay. It's really, it's just the high spider. It's the creepers I'm worried about. Boy, that sword's got a little knockback, doesn't it? Um, 
That's a zombie. Any creepers out here? I don't think so. Okay, we'll start with the lapis. This is going to be a lot. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's fourteen. Um, it's going to be a lot because that's what lapis does. Uh, let's try not to mine down through the ice. Here's our world, by the way. Our little hidey holes under there uh, and our portals on top. I want to build a tower there. And that's where the future home is going to go, is over there at the foot of that hill. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. And don't mind through the ice. Okay, that got us two and a half stacks. How wonderful. Now, uh, let's do the gold ore next. And what are we hoping for here? Twenty... More than 20. I don't know if I'm greedy enough to expect 25, but more than 20 would be nice. 17! All right, well, now that we got the bad RNG out of the way with the gold, which doesn't matter nearly as much, let's do the diamonds. And let's see, what are we hoping for? Every four of these should be nine. And we have six sets of four plus two. So six times nine is 54. 58. 58? Full stack seems like a bit much to hope for. 60 would be great. Less than 58 means we didn't do great on our RNG. So let's see how we did. Either way, it's a lot of diamonds. Okay, 55. A little worse on our RNG than I would have preferred, right? 58 it would have been average. But I'm okay with 55, and I think we have... Hey, little fox. Enjoy your uh, rotten flesh, you little mischievous scamp. We got to do a better farm when we build the new place. I can't believe I left the door open. Was I raised in a barn? Is it still closed? Yeah. Um, so we add this to the seven that we already have, and we're doing pretty good. We're almost at a full stack there. Let's add this gold to the pile, get that lapis put away, and uh, the iron we can ignore for now. We're going to want to make some gold stuff. Um, a fortune pickaxe for gold is going to be necessary at some point. We have a really good sword, so maybe we should make an axe and a shovel. Try to get unbreaking on those. Um, do we have a spare pickaxe? We're going to want a full set of armor, too. But I think we can wait a little bit, because our iron armor is pretty good. Oh, and we don't need the diamond, the the, uh, the boots. So we already have the boots. What would this do right now? Fortune? Unbreaking? I mean, unbreaking is always good. That's Unbreaking 3, and that's Unbreaking 3. So it says to me that second Unbreaking 3 is going to come with something. Of course, we could enchant books as well, but let's see what diamonds we're going to want. Yeah, I think we wait on the armor for now. Uh, but we do go ahead and make a shovel and an axe, and we're probably going to want to enchant them. And if we don't get anything good, we'll just enchant that Unbreaking 3 pickaxe. So let's take a stack of lapis with us. We can drop it off here. And it's going to be time for a little more experience grinding uh, over at the old... down at the old farm. So another uh, pause here uh, while I get some levels, and I'll meet you guys in a minute. Okay, there's level 30. Let's toss these used bows into the old garbage hole. And make sure that these bones and arrows get where they go. Good. Uh, this bow can go away as well. Hopefully none of those were enchanted. I could have disenchanted them for a little extra experience, but you know what? That's okay. Now we're up to 30. Let's try enchanting one thing. Whether it's a shovel, uh, or an axe, or the diamond pickaxe that we have that's currently unenchanted that's showing Unbreaking 3. As much trouble as we're having getting on Breaking 3, it would be nice uh, to get it. Also, the possibility exists that we could do the uh, extra pair of iron pants as well. So let's grab that and the book and the diamond pickaxe. 
Let's use the crafting bench we put here earlier in this episode to make a diamond shovel and axe. Here we go, shovel and axe. Okay, and then we don't have any lapis on us, right? That's probably a good thing. So we can't accidentally do something stupid. Stupid. All right, unbreaking three for the pickaxe. That's a good if nothing else works. Unbreaking for the shovel is very tempting. We're going to have to do some terraforming. Smite five for the axe is not tempting. We're not fighting the weather. Impaling five on the book is not tempting. And protection four on the pants would be if it weren't for the fact that we already have pants with fire protection and those are mutually exclusive. It's possible that that could come with unbreaking, but we know the shovel's going to come with unbreaking. And we suspect that the pickaxe is going to come with unbreaking and something else. But it might just be um, Silk Touch, and we already have that. Or even if it's Fortune, we already have a Fortune Iron Pickaxe. We just don't need to use Fortune that much. Only on the ores. Um, so, unbreaking on the shovel. Uh, I, went to, I went to commit, and I didn't have any lapis in the table. That's why that went poorly. Okay, well, I hope we get um, efficiency just unbreaking that's okay now let's see what uh the leggings would say fire protection again we already have that on the other pair the book says knockback not a huge fan unbreaking three again on the pickaxe we already did the shovel uh and let's check the axe the axe is in efficiency four which could be really good for tree farming. Unbreaking three on the bow. We have as many bows as we need. We already have efficiency three on the iron axe, but efficiency four on a diamond axe could be pretty good. Uh, let's put this stuff away and um, all of our maybe enchantables. We could basically just keep this on us now. And yeah, that one's good. Uh, that's enchantable, that's enchantable. And uh, let's go get some more levels. Um, just to see if we can get get that axe going. We want to enchant that axe now while we have that offer. And then we want to see if it changes uh, what we could get on the pickaxe or the iron leggings or the book. So here we go, three levels. Alrighty, we are back and we're going to enchant this axe. We've got our 30 levels and we want efficiency 4. I do hope it comes with unbreaking. There's unbreaking in the second slot, so there's a good possibility. Nope, just efficiency 4. Okay. Alright, okay. Uh, so what that means is we have an unbreaking shovel that's not efficient and an efficient axe that's not unbreaking. And lots of leftover diamonds. So what do we do? We make... Oh, uh, hi cows. We make another shovel and another axe. And we see what we could get on the pickaxe. Uh, we do have a crafting bench down here, as I've mentioned multiple times. So we can just go ahead and, and do what we need to do. I did not take the diamonds with me. That was a mistake. There we go, and uh, yeah, it, this is going to be the kind of thing that I probably end up doing more of off camera, um, just because you're kind of seeing how it can go, uh, getting the right enchantments, when experience is kind of slow and unwieldy. Okay, unbreaking on the shovel, which is what we already have, that's our enchanted axe, let's put the other axe in. Unbreaking on the axe. Okay, we want that so we can add it to our efficiency one So it looks like we're going down for more levels uh, But what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna move on and do a little bit of uh, Terraforming with the shovel and we'll do some uh, Tree farming in our terraformed land with the axe, but first things first We got to get up to level 30 again Alrighty, I am back and I'm pleased to say that I have a Unbreaking Efficiency 4 shovel, which happens to be Fortune 3, which means we'll never get gravel from it and always um, flint. Yeah, flint and steel. 
Uh, but that's okay. We also have an Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4 Diamond Axe, which will be great for tree farming. It came with Smite 4. I don't mind. I'd rather have Sharpness, I guess, but it's nice to have something in the Smite family. Um, also, I've been busy making some polished Deep Slate, and what I want to do is get a start on a tower around the old uh, Nether Portal today, because it's kind of ugly just sitting there on top of the... Out of my way, Snow. Just sitting there on top of everything. And uh, we need something to be able to see where... Um, well, where Spawn is from uh, the new homestead. I need to turn up the volume in the room for me a little bit. Uh, so what I was thinking is it would be a five by five. And... Um, Yeah, I'm not sure, am I doing this correctly? If it goes... Yeah, no, I think this actually needs to be here. So we'll get rid of these. Um, just like this, yeah, in fact, we could come down and do this real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this tower up, and then we're gonna stand back and have a little look at it. We're gonna need... Um, some material to be the outside of it. But yeah, it's five wide from the back and five wide from the side, and you can actually see the uh, the material poking through there, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I've been like this. And I guess we'll leave a little doorway for now, but that could actually be bigger later. Uh, but I made... I made a few stacks of this material, so let me use it up uh, and then we'll take a look at it together and see what we think. All right, we've used up uh, enough of the... I gotta replace this torch here because I used water to get down and it washed away. <clears throat> washed away. We've used enough of the um, blocks that we don't have enough left to do another level. Let's see how it looks. Oh yeah. Not too bad. It may need more. Um, it's very monolithic right now. <laughs> We'll add some more to it um, at some point. Maybe off camera between episodes. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but now that we've got that started, well, I suppose what we could do is we could try adding um, some cobblestone to the outside of it and just see if that gives it a bit more of an interesting look. No, not tough. Yes, cobblestone. Uh, and then we could make... Um, a bit of a ceiling for the top of it as well. Let's see if eight... Yeah, two ought to be enough. A quarter of the amount. Right, let's go ahead and grab one more. Just one more stack of cobblestone. Uh, and we'll build up little pillars on the corners. Uh, and then we'll put um, uh, something just a little bit textured at the top. Ooh, the sun is going down. But that's okay. We can, uh, we can do this still. So how are you guys' this Christmas seasons going? Uh, how's the shopping going? How's the um, list making going? Uh, have you had any Christmas treats? Any um, wonderful or delicious Christmas cookies or Hanukkah brownies or Kwanzaa uh, carrot cake? I don't, I don't know why it would be carrot cake. Where's that torch gonna end up? 
I think I got it, actually. Oh no, I didn't pick up the water. I'm supposed to pick up the water. Uh, okay, so you know what? We can do that after the next one. Um, I haven't had a whole lot as far as Christmas food yet, uh, but I'm sure that that will pick up as Christmas approaches. We're And we're getting quite close. Uh, so I am excited for that. Okay, so we have two of our pillars here, and we can get down and make the other two. Maybe I should have just left the water there. I don't know. Oh, the sun is setting, though. That's right. We didn't want to get too far before we had a chance to take a nap. I do have an extra... Um, extra bed, but I didn't want to sleep on top of the tower before it was finished. That would be cold, wouldn't it? Sleeping on top of a tall tower in the winter there, especially if it was windy. Whew! You'd need some really good blankets for that, I think. And that is just not in a position we're in. This terrain's not very, um... Very easy to traverse, is it? Well, that's just the way things go. Uh, sometimes. Actually, I'll bet the water would run nicely right into that hole if we leave it like that. So maybe that will be what I do. Um, do you have any Christmas food traditions or holiday? I keep saying Christmas. I celebrate Christmas. Um, that's just because I believe in Christ. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's leave this here and... Oh wait, yeah. We're gonna leave the water there. We're gonna go like this. Does that contain nicely? No, it is flowing out and around. Well, there's no fixing that now. So we'll just go up here and build the rest of this and then um, see how things look. Uh, what we could do is build um, up just a little, like this. Oh, no, it didn't want to go that way. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to get rid of this one. We're just going to go like that, where we uh, add one more and then like this to kind of give it a topper. Uh, we're also going to do the inside of this because I do have some extra. Uh, and we can put a dark one in the middle there like that. I think that's quite nice. And then maybe a torch on that. So we don't get any spawns up here. We don't need that. Um, do I want this water? I guess I could place the last couple of blocks from the water? I don't know. Do I want to do that? Okay. Seven, uh, five, three, one. Oh yeah, that works out great. That's why I like building in odd numbers. Symmetry. Boom. Um, okay, I don't know how great that's going to look. It does make... Um, building the rest of this a little more difficult. Let's place the water right here. Then we can go like this. And then grab it. Yep, and then fall down here. Just like that, that's perfect. And then if there are any torches that have flowed away in the meantime because of this water, yeah, we can replace them like that. And that should run its course. Okay, let's take another look at the tower and see how we're doing. Oh yeah, that's already way better. Uh, we could some put some light on it on the outside for nighttime viewing. I don't know that it matters, um, but I like the look of that. Boy, just uh, four, is it four stacks or eight that I used? I forget, but it's quite nice. Um, yeah, I appreciate that. Okay, let's make sure we have our extra bed, and we do, and make sure we have some food, and we do. We're gonna have to, I haven't fed the cows in a while. Oh look, I have a fox. Would you like to come out, Mr. Fox? There you go. Have a nice day. I gotta feed these cows because we're gonna run low on food eventually. Um, but we do have a bed with us and we do have this spot over here. 
And what we want to do is we want to take our super duper shovel here. And uh, I don't have any wood for chests, do I? That would be smart. So we could kind of save uh, the snow if we want it. Ooh. Ooh. Um... But yeah, what, what we need to do is we need to shear away a couple of levels here. Like this, this one's got to go. There's no way we're keeping this one. So everything Y level, we want to be able to stand on 79 and go anywhere we want. Um, and then we can shear away some of this Y level as well. But we, well, maybe we want to start with that and then we'll just work our way down. So a good way to terraform in Minecraft is to pick a maximum Y level to uh, excavate and then sort of work your way down from there and then you use your excavated dirt to fill in the lowest levels and you just sort of go from there. Um, that works out pretty well for me. Boy, I dug down there, didn't I? I don't want to dig the snow, but I think that's going to be hard to avoid. So we just have to do the best we can here. Um, I would rather end up with too much snow, then use too much time to do this process. But if we dig away this Y level here, and then we fill in one of the low Y levels, uh, our land will just get a little flatter. The lowest level will be gone, and the highest level will be gone. And then you do that again with the new highest level, or what was originally the second highest level. Uh, and you try to get a somewhat natural shape as you go. Um, the snow is mostly just falling, which makes sense to me. See, we're getting a lot of... A lot of free blocks of dirt here. Um... I guess we don't need the axe on the hotbar. So we take some of this dirt and we fill in one of these, uh... One of these lower levels. So, um... Here's my idea, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take... A look uh, from up here. We'll find a good vantage spot. And, um, yeah, maybe right here. Here's our vantage spot. This leaf right here. Can I place a torch up here? I can't. Um, well, so I suppose what I could do is I could replace this with dirt. Ha! <laughs> and then I can. Okay, so we'll crouch and go all the way forward to this corner here and then just sort of uh, we'll sort of look at this area here so we can get a before and after what is the least intrusive probably the torch okay so let me do some uh, terraforming and then I'll try to get this shot again uh, it'll be similar but I may not get the angle just right I don't know. And then uh, we could see how much progress has been made. So uh, let me get busy doing that and I'll be right back. Okay, quick check in. Um, I've just done one layer. So all that stuff that's placed hasn't had the chance for snow to fall on it yet. And uh, we're gonna keep raising that level as we keep uh, carving down these levels. And so, yeah, that's basically the idea. Still have a lot of shovel left, so let's keep going. Okay, another quick update, another layer. Um, that top layer shouldn't be there anymore, but I ran out of inventory space, so I had to place some dirt down here. But you can see it's really coming along. Uh, so I'm just going to keep going, and um, I'll meet up with you guys when I have another update. Okay, here's another update for you. You can kind of see that uh, things are getting cleared away in this area. We're starting to expose some stone. Uh, in the ground and where that torch is there's actually some coal ore over there we got to work on this side a bit more too depending on how big we want our build to be um, but things are coming along nicely we are however running out of space in our inventory and I, hello mr polar bear and it might be time to make a run back to the base soon so we can grab some spruce which is the easiest to farm and uh, use it to make uh, some chests for over here so we can not be quite so clogged up. I've been converting the snowballs to uh, snow blocks. And yeah, we can't pick up the stone unless we do something like this. 
Uh, but here's the coal. Let's use uh, our fortune pick on that. I suppose we could drop some flowers. And uh, this this is badly needed. Certainly. A little extra coal. Uh, not too much. But that's fine. Um, gets us up to a healthier amount than we were at before. So, uh... I gotta keep going. So that we have a nice clear spot to build uh, our home. And I suppose... I'm going to have to get a little assertive with the hill in this direction as well. I don't know how big the home is going to be. But I do know that I would like it to be big. Uh, yeah, let's go this way until we hit a little bit of stone maybe and then turn out and see if that's going to be enough in our estimation. So I'm just going to clear this uh, corner away here and then we'll back up a little and take a look. Okay, yeah, so we carved into the corner here. We are out of inventory space. I'm gonna go get a couple of chests. Um, yeah, the house could go there. See, we could see our tower over there, which is nice. Um, and I think, because we do have so much dirt in the inventory, I think the next Y level up could end up being our final Y level. Uh, so as long as we're here, let's get those placed and then we can pick up some stuff and Then we won't be hurting for inventory space Quite so bad we could pick up the other things that are just sort of sitting around out there. So let me get this done uh, and then we'll figure out what we want to do next Why are polar bears attacking me? guys yeah, cute little Christmas bunny. Guys. I don't understand why it had to come to this. What did I get? Fish and salmon. Um, okay, well, I'm filling in some space here and I'm low on dirt, so I'm using netherrack from my nether tunnel to go get dark oak, which I'm about to use actually to go get some more dark oak so we can have building materials here. But don't tell anyone that there's a uh, netherrack hiding under the dirt, okay? That'll be our secret. Deal? Deal. Okay, I'm gonna get back to covering this all up. All right, here's the final update for today. We got it pretty flat over here. I've got the um, hole into a little cave there outlined in stone with a couple of torches nearby. And um, I set up some chests there. There's a bed over there as well. And I've got sort of this cobbled uh, deep slate wall going on here that sort of defines the edges of the boundary. Um, the approach is a little uneven here. You can kind of see that if we jump down here and we take a turn and look this way, that there's this big tall cliff here leading close to the ice. Um, but we have something more gradual here. So I'm thinking there may be a staircase or something that leads up to the property here. But this is where we're going to build our permanent home. We'll have, um, I think the house will probably be nestled into this corner. And uh, we can see the sunrise over here. We can see the tower over there. The sun will set over there, but we won't be able to see it very well. And we've got some nice barren hill and uh, spruce. Um, and uh, it'll be fun to sort of build the place. We'll have storage, we'll have enchanting, we'll have um, we'll, we'll have a few different things going on. And down here, by the way, just want to show you real quick here. We'll, we'll leave this hole exposed. There's some water ice here, which is kind of cool. Uh, but as we kind of continue down, you can see I've placed a few torches, but there's coal in the walls and ceilings of this little cave here. Uh, and so that's gonna come in very handy. I think that will suit our needs as far as all the things that we need to do. Um, linking this up to the main mine may not be too difficult. Uh, I don't know. But all this jumping to get out, I'm not sure I wanna bother with building stairs and stuff. I think maybe the time would be better spent building a nice road 
uh, between the new house and the original spawn point. And so that's going to be the plan. I am out of time for recording today, but I hope you had fun. I had fun. We got diamonds. We got lots of iron. Um, we got a little more coal. We did some enchanting. Uh, and got some good tools. By the way, this is the other diamond shovel because I needed something a little slower. That's where the uh, enchanted shovel is at, almost halfway used up. Uh, but I'm really pleased. I think this is gonna be a fun spot to work. Um, I'm gonna be counting uh, how much room I have to play with so I can kind of plot out the house. I'm guessing it's gonna be a corner house. Picture like a Tetris block where it's one, one, two, three. I think that we're gonna have our one over here and then on the corner, one, two, three. And that will be what the house looks like. And we can put a cow farm in the back there and uh, do storage. And like I said, have our little spelunking cave here and it's gonna be really nice. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and uh, I will see you guys next time in the basement. <laughs>